Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through another estate sale, scores, find tools, things we got, whatever you want to call this video. Um, uh, Dad and I recently went to an estate sale and it was one of those really fun estate sale because it was a guy that had a workshop plum full of everything you can imagine, tools and stuff. And they were just trying to, you know, he had since passed away and the kids or whatever were just trying to get rid of as much as they could. They were trying to, you know, empty out the property so they could sell that. Same old story. So it was one of those, if you are something you were interested in, you know, start putting it in a pile, make an offer on the whole thing. They just wanted the stuff gone. They wanted it gone to a good home, preferably, instead of throwing the stuff away. So... Dad and I started digging and we were actually went there a couple different days and just because this there were so many cabinets and bins and cubbies and just stuff squirreled away everywhere boxes of stuff you you could spend days going through everything and still not see everything um, so we got a you know truckload of stuff um, I haven't even really gone through it and put it away yet so I figured oh this might be a little fun video to Go through it all, kind of show you the more interesting things, and uh, put it away at the same time as I'm showing you. So I'll put a box up on the bench here, and we'll kind of go through it a box at a time, and uh, see what we got. So these ones are actually from a different sale this summer. Um, kind of neat though, a set of thin wrenches. But instead of normal sizing, they're based on the bolt size. So to speak or the nut size different way of doing it kind of an interesting set pick them up though kind of cool to clean them up one of these days um i kind of got a thing for hammers so i picked out quite a few interesting hammers from that sale uh, i think it's for like upholstery little tacks just a little mall another little tack hammer you kind of excited about this it's a pretty <laughs> abused body hammer but i think we'll clean that up and maybe put a new handle on it if it's cracked underneath that tape get that fixed up that'll be nice a couple more interesting interesting little i think that's for cobbling you know shoe repair i want to say correct me if i'm wrong some handles some brand new packages of hacksaw blades and a whole tool bin full of different punches and cold chisels and stuff like that That'll be handy to have. You can never have too many punches. Some vice grips, some wire wheels, hole saws, spring clamps, C clamps, deep throat C clamps, and a little Craftsman quarter inch drive set. And this little tiny Craftsman breaker bar to go along with it. Uh, normally I don't pick up these little sets, but it's actually you know, USA Craftsman. It was complete, and there again, the price was right on all this stuff. So, okay, a couple more of those five-gallon pail bins, magnifying glass, some NOS Ford connecting rod bearings. Uh, unfortunately, the mice got into these boxes, but the bearings themselves look like they'd be perfectly fine to use. That's kind of neat, if nothing else, you put them on the shelf. Glass cutter, torch tip cleaners, uh, striker flints, battery terminal cleaner, some lock washers, cutter pins, little rivet punch uh, set, tarp grommet set, lifetime supply of feeler gauges, couple of nice little narrow ones. Those will be handy for doing magneto points. Uh, spark plug gapping tools. An adapter for the trailer wires. That'll be handy to have. I could have actually been used that in the past. This is kind of neat. It's an old Stanley plum. So it's, it needs some work. It's a little bit broken. But uh, so you can clamp it on like a straight edge and use it as a level that way. Kind of a neat old thing. I'll have to fix that up someday. Uh, some wire uh, nuts and staples. 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this one's for. If this is a... Uh, not even sure. Let me know what that is exactly. Some type of a crimper tool. Uh, nice long uh, hulu tape measure, straight edge. Lufkin. Big pipe cutter. A uh, couple pair of welding gloves. One brand new, one just about brand new. Okay, next box of stuff. A few pipe clamps. A uh, conduit bender. We have some two compression tester gauges, two vacuum gauges. No idea if they work, but there again, the price is right, so we picked them up. Some more hacksaw blades. A set of metric Craftsman nut wrenches. Uh, some nibblers. Or <laughs> horse hoof trimmers, whatever you want to call them. A uh, fencing tool. Hammer handle wedge, you can always use them. Uh, rivet set, there's several of these in the batch. Hitch pins, you can always use them. Uh, it's kind of nice to have a stud extractor. So if you got a stuck like head bolt stud, uh, you can stick it in there, stick your ratchet on there, and it's on an eccentric to grab the, the tighter you twist your uh, ratchet, the tighter it grabs on that stud. So that might come in handy for this tractor project. Nice little scale, a speed wrench, whole selection of calipers and dividers, little nut and bolt bin, uh, lifetime supply of hog ring pliers and hog rings. Um, kind of picked them up just because we didn't have any of them. I don't know if we'll ever use them, but sometimes it's nice just to have a selection of stuff on hand. Okay, moving on, we got a set of Craftsman wood chisels, a couple of Stanley wood chisels. I'm not sure exactly what this tool is. If you know, let me know. It almost looks like, like an old flaring. They clamp your line in there and then you'd have your other half of the tool that's missing to put the flare on the end of a pipe tube. And on this end, you squeeze it and you can clamp it in place. I'm not sure though. Let me know what that is. Same with this one. I'm not sure what this tool is. But it was neat, so I grabbed it. I figured if nothing else, it'd be a good uh, backer for like doing hammer and dolly work. But yeah, I don't know what that one is. Uh, another set of hog ring pliers, a couple of grease caps, bin of pop rivets. We got a Lifetime supply of pop rivets. There's a whole bin in the garage I brought already brought out of different sizes of pop rivets. Whole bin of pegboard hooks. There again, don't even really need them, but uh, these here I'm pretty excited about. So this is a little snap-on ratcheting like quarter inch drive. Uh, it's just got a cheap Japan socket on it, but I figured I would do the same thing. Get sockets or uh, taps rather, with sockets on them. Um, then, you know, if we're going through all the holes of everything on the tractors, this would be handy to have. Uh, the handle might not be snap-on either. That might just be an El Cheapo, but this, the actual unit is a vintage snap-on thing. So that's, that's kind of cool. It's got forward and reverse then. You can flip it one way or the other, to ratchet one way or ratchet the other. Something is sometimes it's the little things in life. I I think that's kind of cool to have. This here, we're not sure what it is. It's like a little, like a little rivet set or something. So this part is adjustable, and then the inner part screws in as well. Anybody knows what that is? Hauler, pretty intricate little thing, whatever it is. And then a whole selection of other miscellaneous stuff that was in a little bin so we just grabbed the whole bin some universals uh, some bits uh, adapters some taps different sockets a couple of ratchets a bunch of variety of extensions uh, we tried to pick through and only pick out like the more better quality things you know craftsmen american made stuff for the most part a lot of the Japan and China tools we leave behind because we got enough junk. We try to pick out the better stuff. Uh, little 
uh, mic and a little cheap uh, exacto blade kit there again i that's nothing fancy but i didn't really have a kit like that so it'd be nice to have a little something cutting out gaskets and whatnot pretty cool old uh malt bag uh, kind of a cool thing to hang up on the wall we got a monkey wrench, some like piston ring or snap ring pliers, little terminal puller handle for an old tire pump, uh, some craftsman screwdrivers, a selection of other wrenches. A lot of these are the thin or oddball, or thin and oddball, both wrenches. One uh, flare nut or line wrench, whatever you want to call it. Selection of offset wrenches uh, I think just a lot all these are USA wrenches uh, so better quality this is kind of neat to have uh, adjustable rasp like a body file so you can either tighten or loosen this and that changes the curve of your file that'll be kind of handy a couple of adjustable um, uh, what do you want to call them? Squares? Not really a square. Uh, angle gauge, whatever the right name is. This one's actually a Starrett uh, centering rule there. That one, I'm not sure what brand that one is. But... And then a whole bin of uh, wire, crimp on wire terminals and electrical type things. So that'll be, you can never have too many selection of them. Okay, I should mention from that last bunch, that monkey wrench is actually an IH wrench. So that makes it a little more interesting. Uh, we got this paper cutter, I guess it is. You can put the paper there and shear it. Um, we just picked it up because, you know, it's something different. Never seen as a sale before. Figured it might be handy for, say, cutting shim stock or something, maybe. I don't know. A uh, handful of rubber snubbers, and yes, they're rubber snubbers, not bungee cords. That's what we call them. If you watched our other cabinet go-through video of uh, that, that cabinet was actually from that same estate sale where all this stuff was from. These are all those drills we talked about that were in the bottom drawer. There's at least a half a dozen old drills in there. They all work. They all we plugged them all in and and pulled the switch. Some of them are pretty sketchy as far as the wires and whatever. Most of these would probably just get thrown away or sold at a garage sale or something because we don't really need any more of them. But um, this was a pretty good score. So this is a pipe cutter, pipe thread cutter. Um, so you clamp your pipe like in a big pipe vise and then you have a big handle that goes on this and then you can ratchet along your ratchets to put threads on different size large pipes so that was a pretty good score we'll probably have to put new uh inserts in it the uh, cutting inserts but besides that it's in uh, a little bit of cleanup and it'll be a good working order so it does uh one to two inch pipe threads rigid and then there's this other pipe threader. And then we got a Model T water uh, pump and fan. I guess, yeah, I guess it would be the water pump too. That's your impeller there. Uh, pick that up just because I hate to see it go to the scrapper or whatever. Okay, last bunch of stuff, I promise. And we'll get this video done. Little hacksaw, uh, socket holder. So earlier we had the metric set. This is the standard set of Craftsman nut drivers. Three more nippers of various sizes and configurations. Um, I believe these are for doing brakes. Correct me if I'm wrong. This one I'm not sure if it's the same thing. You know, some type of a brake tool. Let me know in the comments below. This here, I believe, was for doing like uh, cobbler work, you know, shoe repair. 
Um, it's, it's different than the normal kind of cobbler's bench tools you see. But there again, I picked it up, if nothing else, to use as a dolly for doing hammer and dolly work on sheet metal. Polish that baby up. Be good for different curves. Neat cast piece. Another pair of ice grips. Uh, interesting curved, like a chisel. Um, pipe, end of a pipe bender. Uh, just missing the handle. Um, piece of a adjustable wrench. Um, this is either for doing uh, tire tube like repair or for like a pounce pattern for doing like sign work. If it is, uh, you make a pattern and then you trace it with the little pounce wheel, it makes a bunch of little holes in it for when you're doing your pounce bag uh, for like sign work, lettering. Uh, another uh, square uh, compass, part of a clamp of some sort, uh, you know, like for a vise or whatever. Figured it eventually we'll find a tool that's missing one of them. Some pair of pliers, kind of a goofy set there. File handles, a ring of miscellaneous sockets, some brass stock, some copper stock. Uh, pulley, a couple more wrenches, and various oddball things, a pair of long needle nose, never had a pair of them so that's handy, uh, more snap ring pliers that need a little bit of work but they're, you know, need new tips, and another pair of either piston ring or snap ring pliers, whatever you want to use them for. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff at this sale. Uh, and we didn't spend much at all on all this stuff. Uh, believe me, uh, it, it was one of those sales where they were giving stuff away. I mean, we spent maybe a few hundred dollars total on everything we bought, if that. It was, it was a pretty good haul. But it gives new life to all these tools. And that's what it's all about. Because otherwise they were basically saying that whatever didn't go at the sale, they were going to get a big roll away dumpster and they were just going to start throwing stuff away because they had no use for it. They didn't know where to get rid of it. So that's why we didn't feel bad just filling up boxes and pails and just making a great big pile of stuff. Okay, what do you want for this whole pile here? 50 bucks? Okay, sold. Get it out of here. That was that type of a sale. So yeah, uh, see if you guys like these kind of videos. Uh, leave a comment below if you do. Maybe we'll do some more in the future because we're all about the garage sales. We like uh, the treasure hunt, so to speak. And every once in a while we get a pretty good haul. So uh, usually isn't like that. Usually you get a couple of good things if you're lucky at a sale. But this was one of those once every year or so you get a really good one. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't hit the old subscribe button, hit that. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps grow the channel. Hit the old thumbs up button. There again, doesn't cost you anything and it helps get more views to the channel. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.